Just a really quick introduction because this is a bit of a long vlog so please pour yourself a brew, <laughs> uh, get yourself comfy. Um, this is a vlog about my mixed media workshop at Hope and Elvis which was in November last year and I really thought I'd vlogged it. I, I found it on my phone, I was having a bit of a phone clear out and uh, I was like hey up, I, I haven't vlogged this. So uh, my apologies for the massive delay. Um, it was a really special workshop because it was the last one um, where Louise Asher was in charge of Hope and Elvis. It's now been passed on to the very wonderful Wendy. Um, but this, this one was like a kind of farewell weekend and um, a final flurry of a workshop, uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed and had loads of friends there. And it was... It's been an honour working with um, Louise and um, yeah, so I'll share this now. I hope you enjoy and thank you to all those people that came along and thank you Louise for all the laughs and friendship and just wonderful hospitality. Well, we've arrived. It's, uh, it's nice and early. I don't actually know what time it is, but I was up at five, so it's nice and early. Uh, we're gonna, Sam's with me and we're gonna unpack all this. We're gonna have the shop there and at the back there uh, we're having the materials and over there is where I'm gonna demo. So, excuse the sound, we've just put the heating on. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop talking now and uh, gonna set up. I'm just say, just look at this beautiful wall. I love it, I love it so much here. So yeah, see you later. She's in it. Ladies, what's your name? Hello. Are we acting natural? <laughs> natural, yeah, it's very natural. Oh my god! Oh, isn't that amazing? Yeah. 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 Sausage dog on there. Hey, everybody's worked so hard. Yeah. Right. 
can tell they will see you tomorrow. Yeah. See you in the morning. We'll see you morning. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. See you. See you. See you. Orange paint for my dog. It's orange paint for me. Is it alright to leave this humongous bag at the moment? It's absolutely fine. Doors will be locked. I'm leaving all mine here. <laughs> Is it raining out there? Oh, fun. Oh, I'm so pleased you've been. It's been amazing. Yeah, they've really come on. It's those glazes, isn't it? It's so Just different from it. anything I've ever done. Yeah, it's really pulls it all together. Instead of all this thick, 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 it's just so different. Yeah, and you can just go. Because you can make changes. You can say, I hate it. And it's really easy to undo. How I filmed you. But can I keep that bit in that you just said? That's brilliant. Thank you. That's what it's all about. Thank you. I don't. Why would you do it to yourself? Yeah. Life's too short. Morning. Well, I'm back in my favourite travel lodge and I've had a really good night's kip and I had a lovely pizza last night. And I'm ready for day two. So I'm just going to go and get a chai latte and. Um, I've got my notebook ready. I've already got ideas and also things I've forgotten to tell everybody yesterday, things that I want to, kind of techniques and stuff um, that I want to cover. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a lovely, lovely day. Um, such a brilliant crowd, but it always is at Open Elvis. It's always full of kind of like kindred spirits and people that like the same things that I do. And, you know, I'll show them little bits or little techniques and other people might be like, what's that? <laughs> and then I go to open up, so I'm like, oh my God, look at this. And it's so exciting. And I get so many ideas from the people that come along as well. So it's it's just it's just a really creative place. Um, so yeah, anyway, waffling, looking forward to my chai latte and uh, hopefully uh, the coffee shop's open uh, just now. I'm, it's a bit early, but I'm gonna go and see and I'll see you later. I'll try and do as much filming as I can, although the time goes on way too quickly. Um, but yeah, I'll try and be a bit better today, filming a little bit more. Um, see you later. <laughs> this is day two of the workshop. Sam's busy. I don't think I'll film her because she looks like she's focused. She's not looking at me. Got Kate, Jean from the village. Thank you, Jean. Look at those. Did you want to say good morning, Sam? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> As always, Sam has displayed my shop for me because I am rubbish putting up my shop and she does such a good job she's so clever she's my visual merchandiser it's looking Christmassy got the tree out I love it on the Sunday morning and I can see what everybody's done on the first day and everything's lovely dried and all the colours look beautiful look at these, these beautiful pieces of work can't wait when we peel these little paintings off with the masking tape i know they're going to look amazing day two of the workshop is really exciting because we're going to be talking about final layers and adding motifs and that's when we start and really pull things together we really worked on textures and layering yesterday so now we can have some real fun this morning thinking about how we're gonna maybe finish some pieces off 
what's lovely is that you can see each person has got like a kind of series of work building. every single person the work looks so different quickly as well because there are a couple of um, certain colours of pencil that really help um, kind of pull those colours together but first things first so um, with the little sketchbooks I've been looking around I, I have been photographing the picnic tables it was lovely walking this morning and they're all like shining and lovely because all the gel is dried and looking resplendent and the colours are glowing um, when you take your masking tape off, please be careful. Because what I don't want you to do, and again, I've learned from bitter experience, you pull the masking tape off and the whole thing, you know, half a bit tears <laughs> off and it's like, oh no. So I was really slowly pull it and pull away from the artwork. Pull away from the artwork. <laughs> Never that way. Um, Georgina, did you mask the moon? Of course I masked the moon. I'm not that inept. That's good. Thank you. Do you know what? I can't believe again. It's coming up to 12. Oh, crazy. I'm just doing a swoopy swoop over. Swoop over. over. over Go the for swoop. Thank you. Swoop. Just pretend I'm not here. Sticking the camera right in your walk. <laughs> oh, I'm loving the dark glazes. Oh, the dark glazes just killing me.
creative chaos stage of the afternoon. It's looking wonderful. Look at all this glorious work. Have you peeled it? Yeah, yeah, I well, am. Eventually. Oh, Jesus. Anything for the drinks, no. <laughs> Pauline, do you mind being on film with your cake? Are you okay? <laughs> Is it good cake? I'm you yeah, let's hold it up. Christine, that's fabulous. I love the story. We're all at you. Yeah, here we go. We're going to carry on. Do you see the way I'm saying? You don't mind me taking that. Oh, I think you've got to laugh, Pat. Yeah. Yeah, there's no rush. <laughs> I realised I didn't really show you the examples I'd made for the workshop, so I'm just doing a quick, a quick swoop around the bits that I'd prepared um, for the for the weekend. Um, they cover all the techniques uh, that we use, and I wanted to show some semi-abstract work, like this semi-abstract landscape series. Um, some of the examples had uh, people and animals on them. So if you wanted to incorporate kind of representational elements in the work, you could. Um, and I also produced some completely abstract uh, pieces and they involved the glazing techniques we covered, collage, uh, mixed media, um, and we tried some quite experimental techniques as well. So yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you all the different bits um, that we covered and I think you could tell by the amazing array of work everyone took their own bits from the workshop and created their own responses and that's really what the weekend was about. Um, thanks ever so much if you've made it this far. I think this is one of the longest vlogs I've, uh, I've made so you definitely deserve a mug of tea and three custard creams and thanks Louise and Hope and Elvis for everything.